now let's move toward the next api that is for the geocoding where you will get the lat long on the basis of location or the location on the basis of latitude longitude for this we are going to use the opencagedata.com i'll provide the link in the description of the video you need to visit this site and click on the sign up within the sign up process you can sign up using the existing gmail account or the github account or you can create the new user and continue once you are done with the sign up you will be landing on this page that is the home page of this website click on to the documentation and api documentation link you will land on to this page documentation page here some urls are given what you need to replace is only replace for the reverse geocoding you need to replace this lat within the query by latitude and this lang within the query by the longitude and you can observe that after the url there is a question mark and question mark has two parameter one is the query and one is the key so key is actually the api key generated for your login every login will have a unique api key so what you need to do is whenever you need to work with the apis you need to copy this api and after copying replace the lat with lat and longitude with longitude you will get the location on this basis and for the forward geolocation within the query you need to replace the place name with the city name so you will get the lat long based on the city name the sequence can be anything you can write down the key first and then query that's fine but technically q stands for query you are querying place name or you are querying latitude or longitude it will decide what to return back okay now let's come to the this url where within a query i have provided the city name that is singapore and the key is provided before that so sequence is not important so what it will do is this api will go and search latitude longitude for the singapore if you look at the documentation part come to the result section this is complete json within the json section uh, result section what you will see is there are many different components annotation boundaries and so on so let's look at one component that is called as geometry and this geometry component is going to give you lat long based on the location that you have provided so the location name is singapore and the latitude longitude for it is present answer the geometry and similarly the complete information regarding the city its country name and all that is provided under the component section so under the component section you can see that country singapore and city singapore similarly you can go for the reverse geocoding where you can provide the lat long so what i have done here is within the query i have provided latitude plus longitude and that plus has replaced into some other code automatically by the browser and based on that lat long the location will be shown here within the country and city section of the components but by some means if you provide some wrong inputs for the lat longs say latitude longitude is not correct then it will not show anything within the result section the result section will be blank array and the status code is 400 and it will say it is invalid coordinates so this is kind of error it shows code 400 and the message is invalid coordinates so now let's deep dive into it and consume these apis into our node application so stay tuned